working? Yes. So, um, Daniel Lismore, we're here together in St. James discussing British eccentrics. And I was wondering if there was ever, if you can remember the point at which you self actualized your own eccentric self. I think probably watching Star Trek, um, kind of thinking, you know, there may be aliens out there, I don't know, um, and kind of starting to build my own character via that, I think that was one of the first um, things. And then I started to dress in particular ways, like it was, my idea was like Hollywood alien um, with like, you know, kind of like dreads or whatever, and I it grew my hair longer, and I just wanted to be that, character that I you know and that was the first so what was the first item of clothing that you really latched on to to express this eccentric side it was a purple wig and mm. um, like I love Dame Edna so um, it was this purple wig I think and then uh, later on it was um, all these safety pins and like spring jewelry like made of springs and mm. things that I found and kind of put together and then um I went through my father's, it was a chest, um, and no one had been in it since he died, and there was all this punk memorabilia, so oh, I've still got it, and I put it in my exhibition, so. Oh, see, that's quite a treat, isn't it, mm. to have that, what yeah, a yeah. gift to have bestowed upon you, a magic chest, and your pins, they're kilt pins, aren't they, yeah. that you use, yeah, yeah. large kilt pins. still got pins. my nappy pin from when I was a baby. I do too, mine's a dark, what's yours? A bear. Not a polar bear like your. No, I think it's more of a. I don't know. We must get together with our pins. Yeah, we should. <laughs>